to leave this town cause lately I've been feeling down the cold nights just don't feel the same oh back my life inside a car hit the button drive real far but that wreck could only die oh
What is up? What is up? ITB Nation. That feels weird. Now, uh, what's up, everyone? Welcome to a uh, another ITB stream. That feels good, uh, doesn't it? It's uh, me back for the first time in a little bit um, here on the uh, channel, of course, for some more easy action, which I think is always good to see. Back for ESC main ITB currently in free in the division. Going up against UDP tonight. The Romanian side who are at seven four at the moment. After um, winning out these last two games, one against Lick, one against Young Lorians. We'll start here on Inferno with ITB on the CT side, and you, as you can see, already starting off with a W in terms of the opening fight. Adam winning that one. Viper steps up to the plate next and does connect as well to get that two-man advantage, to get that five on three with three players still in this A site. Cypher, Iskin, Tadpole all on it. They can hear all the steps coming up from the Romanians as well. Just going to hold it off now. And they do combine. Lovely little setup. That's a couple frags for the other players there on the A site. Great stuff, really, on the entire A setup. That looked very simple, didn't it? I mean, they didn't have to do much. UDP kind of walking into the crosshair there a lot. But credit to ITB. Clicking those heads. Every single time stepping up to the plate. On several fronts there, actually. Don't really hope not to get a kill when he was over on B, so you can't blame him. He plays that same position again with that MP... Uh, or with that FAMAS, rather. Otherwise, it is... MP9s and an M4 for ISK. We go against this force spy from UDP. No no uh, bomb plant in the last trap. So we'll just be pistols and armor. There's some decent utility as well as they look to flash out of middle. They do just that. And the MP9s will greet them. Uh, Zypher just gets made it down. He still connects for two kills before he goes down to that artillery. They've already spotted the player out in mini pit as well. Tadpole will try to help out now. Oh, he does the damage at least, but then this couldn't quite convert on that M4, so a 2-on-2 two two instead. Having more lacking information at this point. UDP smoke away. Adam just pushes through it. Adam getting the first kill. Oh, and they already know where Star Players is. As Adam stepped up to find Star Players only on 40 HP. And the spray connects. Lovely stuff from him. Gets the M4 on the way out. And gets the defuse in 2-0 instead then for ITB. And it could have been a very different round if Adam didn't decide to push through that smoke in such a determined way. Lovely stuff from him in the 2-1-2. Two two. Getting those last two kills after Cypher started it off with uh, his own two kills. I mean, that was ridiculous. I think UDP were so reliant on their nades fully connecting. Well, only throwing two in there. It felt like a weird strategy. Completely turning their backs to pit. Which net Cypher the two kills and the amount of money to be able to buy it, play uh, an M4 here. And the next round is getting boosted up as well. On and off. P is tagged down and backs away eventually. And the player not on an M4 or an off here is obviously Dobbo. Pushed to stick on that MP9, but not a bad position for it over there on B. He's going to be getting some action over there as well. Place flashed away. With the nade going the other way. UDP, who of course have played this map quite a bit during the season. 4-2 and two is their current record on it. But into the breach being 2-0. and out. That's what we played against Visu there at the start of the season. And then a little bit later here in, the, here in September. One out in overtime against Gen 1. So a good record for sure. This UTD, UTP flash out on it. So our pleasure is getting that first kill. This will trade. Cypher pops up as well. Cypher getting the two kills and delaying. 
as this fails to connect on the half-open shot, tied down all the way to two health, but he's got some backup now, at the very least, with UDP still not into that site. A little bit scared to even pick up that bomb, but with that smoke, I might rely on it. Adam, I think he's been spotted now. He gets tagged out. Pushed back down. They know at least where the bomb planter is, as this go. I thought he was going to set it through the flashbangs there. Not quite the case. They hold off instead with Shadow now settling in on, on Pit. Both Pleasures having to move around the site as well, sitting in that top corner. The very end, Shadow gets one. They've already spotted out Isk as well here. Adam needs to do the work. He gets the first kill. They know where Shadow is as well as Adam moves in. Adam might just have to go for the defuse here. He needs the help from Isk, who misses on the first shot. Adam's already moved off the defuse and rounds over. Isk surely won't get this one. Through to the next round. Yeah, he goes down. No up into that. I felt very uncoordinated in the final bit of it. Really needed to do a better job of Isk protecting Adam. He did not feel safe enough to, to defuse. UDP take their first round. In a way that could have been avoided. Into the breach immediately broken then. Because of that, let's see the economy is just the deagles here with a few smokes around as well Suppose alongside that armor you should add romania's with uh, just a way better buy even if they didn't save anything over from the last trip They're obviously favorites now to tie things up Ricardo, imagine the ones that walk through here on apartments no one being too aggressive here it feels like a semi semi-normal setup from itb despite obviously the deagles being on, on hand instead of the rifles only one smoke left as well for the cts it's in cypher's hands he switched over now to try and smoke off that b site or at least have it available to that b site seems to reach actually stack up on b a little bit three players there as the flash comes through, it's only a, a bait. And into the breach has been faked out. Dobbo was just about to leave. He already gets one, though. Now knows that it is that A site. He gets tapped away, but it's that ball on the site. So not even get the chance. The rest all fall. Like dominoes, and only Cypher and Isk left. Save does feel quite reasonable. Quite logical. UDP indeed tying things up. Top performer um, for them statistically through the season has been been shadow by a little bit. The opera mainly for, for UDP. It'll be interesting to see if we, we get that battle between Isk and, and Shadow. For Isk having had the op earlier, Shadow still yet to pick up his first. Maybe he doesn't even do it on the T side. I so. really like that on Inferno. Inferno the op. And, well, even if he did, he still doesn't have a chance to, to buy it up. Economy not quite good enough yet for UDP. Maybe in this round. Or after this round, rather. They are just going to go up uh, against the heavy eco. Side of those two saved deagles. The smoke and flashes. All that's invested. to reach that game. Run that 2 2 middle setup. One on either end. Not really boosted up though. In fact, they'll just peak. Not very successful though, though. With uh, Isk already going down and Adam falling over towards B. This UFP is obviously not quite enough stopping power in them. Like the Deagles. Cypher failing to, to hit any of those shots with that eagle. Dobbo's picked one up. They've left B completely open here. Just looking for a headshot, Dobbo. Took him very long to realize Shadow was in that corner. Only doing the damage for now. 
really not getting any much more than that on any front. As UDP take a stroll towards bait and uh, realize it's a free site. Not gonna stress about this trap. The Romanians just take it cool and collect it. Lovely effort to uh, now make it three rounds in a row for them and take that lead for the first time in this game. Of course, the economy being there for, for an op to be brought up, but nobody went down, so I guess it's not, not really an option. That Shadow's considering. Meanwhile, it's Kaz bought up and the op. That's alongside two M4s and an MP9 of Maz. The op coming back there or towards A. Short. The weaker weapons on that piece site. UDP look for early control. Dobbo stuck here in sandbags getting mollied out he gets a bit of help though adam already the opening kill and they can back away even if they're tagged up it is that five on four that they were definitely looking for no need to overplay on banana now with no utility and not not any great weapons not to not to mention the health like tadpoles come in to, to help out Bring a little bit more uh, life to that site. About a minute on the clock, UDP. Looking inclined to go bait, you would have to say. No smoke, no Molotovs to stop them. Once they do make this initial push. There's this initial peak, Adam. Should be the first point of contact here unless Dobbo takes a peak, which he won't. Standing in an anti-flash at the moment. Smoke comes out from the T side. Adam already gone down. Tadpole while Flash does get the trade, but quickly. It's one right back and then Dobbo. It's only able to get a trade for himself, so a two on two now. No kits in the hands here for ITB. Cypher coming through CT. Isk on the other end. Isk holding down the angle. Misses on the shot. Gets another chance here. The wide open one. He connects and that leaves only Shadow. Moving away from the shadow angle and set into new box with only 35 health. ITB, of course, still without a kit. They need to move quite quickly. Isk actually picking one up, though. They can take it much slower now. Shadow It's going to have a slight peak. He's playing it so coolly, but then Cypher spots him out and makes it a tie game here. Free all. Now the scoreline a good two on two after a decent side hold, you'd have to say, especially with the lacking utility there for the B players to end up with a uh, fee free for free in the initial exchange is, is very decent. Didn't even know I had voice commands on. Jesus. Shadow gets the uh, op. The first time this game again. That duel may be something to watch. He moves closer in towards middle, is holding that angle, smoking it off for now. Against his counterpart. That's his UDP have already moved forwards here in, in apartment. Might be moving a player over from B, in fact the B control. But to, to such an extent, they're going to put four players here on A. We'll see if they do it quick enough though. The T's already arriving a little bit. Shadow's gone down. On the other end, that off gone from the round, at least for now. I said to Rachel, just dug in here, staying on the A site for now. And UDP, they are just going to rotate over now. Flash will come through, Adam backing away with a flash of his own. A rotation will arrive. No reason for ITV to rush anything here, though. Adam yet again up on this high angle with the MP9. Another rotation comes through. Sure, Cardo looking to fake over towards A, but it looks like a full rotation now. After it's got the initial kill on B. UDP just getting locked out the round. What is happening? The stiff defense has looked impenetrable in this round, and it's it's round over. UDP just looking to save now. I'm not sure if ITV can believe it. 
Not often you see the three T's decide to save. But I don't think it's a bad option per se. Harder will be able to buy it for himself. One of the players who've gone down and then Shadow gets that drop. Imagine drops of star players. It's a good buy as they run it back instead. Now with a slightly worse scoreline from their perspective, but get a much better option than forcing the uh, three on five, which did look unwinnable there. Which was a great round for the ITB squad. Cypher's moved up. Cypher getting punished for the mid aggression. Trade at least. That's a good spam for the smoke and a nade. ITB having been really good at just trading out in these rounds, often even getting the man advantage early on here. I'm going to try again. Nobody quite that advanced from the T side though. So ITB continue this 2 2 setup for the sites, as in just having two players on either. Either one. But Adam looks hesitant. Or at least wary of the uh, players that could come out of Arch. Not the case right now, though. But if Isk's taking a more resigned position on short, it would be a possibility Isk peeking back out, though, and getting that pick on the boiler player. End up in a similar position to last round with these three players that might not be able to find an opening, though. Better part of it is that there is that one less player for ITB. So one weaker sight there is. This one being just that weaker sight. Adams come through on the rotation. No smoke for CT. Dobbo doesn't hold off though the push in with 20 seconds. They look to just throw the bomb over. Getting really desperate over there with two players now in Banana. It's being realize, realizing that fact. And then Adam comes through. And Shadow gets all the way tagged down. Does take the first kill, Tadpole showed himself, but then gets the kill anyway. Great stuff from ITB. Yet again, that defense, maybe not qu being quite as impenetrable. Having a slight hole there towards B, but you can see the desperation that it caused onto the UDP players. You can see some signs of great communication as well, I think, with with the way that Isk played there on Banana in the retake, where um, he's able to just hear the fact that they're throwing the bomb over and he's only seen one cross. I think it was Adam uh, who's only seen one cross. And so Isk is, is able to just, you know, consider every single angle of Banana knowing that there's at least going to be one there. It's a good round from him, but yeah, more so the communication that time playing a part. PDP now just on the pistols. They move towards A. Molotovs come in the direction that was already killed off harder with those Molotovs combining. And then there's already a flank from Adam. That's aggressive. Maybe a bit too much so. He's only got the one kill. PDP look to rotate with another kill on the way out. Three on three now. Rotating. ITB think they are. Cypher at least sticking around for now. But UDP won't be flashing, so they can just walk up, sneak up, up arch here. Now 45 on the clock. Tadpole needs to realize this angle. He's got one and two to leave only Chikarda. There's just no chance in the world. Tadpole instead. Locks them all up. A great round from him. Making it 4k. Making it six rounds for Into the Breach. Well, definitely look strong here in the rifle rounds. Since UDP got to three rounds, basically. ITB are just building up. Been building up that streak. And it's looked fantastic. I mean, in general, they're in just a great form, aren't they? ITB. Um, was casting them just on another channel. Last time out in ESC, that was yesterday against Nine, where they completely dismantled the Swedish side on overpass. Just with that defense again, the stiffness of it. When it's up to its 
usual level, you could almost call it. It feels... It must feel just so grueling to play against. They took 12 CT rounds in that first half. The 12 free uh, first half, then, obviously. And that is ridiculous. Because the 9 side have looked much improved on especially T in recent times. And on overpass. You know, that is just so dominant. And if the T side just is it's pretty good, like it typically is, it's not bad per se. Um, but I think the CT side really can push them to, to just be in a really high level. An example of that T side being being quite decent is is in that Gen 1 game, the, the most recent one on Inferno. Where ITV actually won out in, in overtime. The first overtime, 1915. Uh, where they got, I think they got eight CT rounds in the first half and then still able to collect a couple towards the end to make it overtime. Uh, as we move on here, the first gun round. Dobbo getting the first kill. He'll not flash through Adam. He just goes dry in Adam. I just found another kill. So unexpected. Shark card out just had none of it in his mind. It's Meanwhile, another trade comes through, but then it, it completely erupts on the short end and not in a good way for ITB. Only get a kill and a bit of damage. Perhaps giving up the advantage now to UDP and the 2 on 2. Harder is tagged up at least. It has that op to play around with. Star Pleasures in pit as well but both have been spotted one has been killed and now both of them have as dobo takes it all as itb continue the streak yet again the communication just being fantastic there from the into reach from into the breach when one man has the info everyone has the info it feels like on this team just immediately transmit it to their teammates exactly where those opponents are it's coming in. oh whisk wow flashed picks up another opening here for I itb that off striking domain this time around imagine i should say it's tough sometimes with these romanian names it's from that romanian speaker oh you don't have to speak romanian to see that brilliant action though the two kills coming through cypher trades it back and free on free now as he hides away in pit still they're not able to uproot him in fact it's distracted them so far to set up a kill for dobo Man advantage instead. Harder is on the flank here though, holding his trigger for now. Until he strikes to make it that two on two, not quite knowing where Dobbo is. Makes it so it's a one on one on both ends here. Harder just waiting out in CT. Shadow peeks out meanwhile from sight. Dobbo's been known. He's been made aware now to the T side though. Dobbo gets the first kill, holds away. Bomb not planted at all here for Harder as Dobbo just sits in the corner hi Harder looking for him the th one second oh and he gets it still UDP get around back after all make it a fourth round in the first 11 played tough situation with the flank a lovely play from Harder to, to get that that deep so quickly. He thought about holding his trigger even further, but with them winning the round, I don't think he has any regrets. Not at all. ITB actually have been playing a lot of close rounds, so the economy not having built up is now kind of punished. See in the bite. There's Kevin and Op, sure, but the rest. MP9, two Eagles and a 5-7. And Not even a FAMAS. <laughs> so I, I say initially mixed it up with. The UDP playing it passive for now. 
when we focus on that mid control, do get it as well. Worker in shadow, nobody to take them. Four players here on Abo. At the moment, even now Cypher, oh, he's just going to move away. Now just the free players, but Dobbo makes that one work. No damage taken as he gets the first with the MP9. They get pushed in on this. Coming up, Bisk on a shotgun up. Will make it a 4 on 3. He rotates over as well. Realising that UDP are most likely going to want to rotate when seeing that op on 8. It's a risky move with only one now on 8. But it seems to be the right one. As Hisk has popped up exactly where those T's are looking to play. So imagine peeking in. Is holding the angle for now. With Cypher up on the boost as well. Does go down. It's all on Hisk now. Getting mollied off as well. He pushes right in. Missing the shot. And possibly losing the round because of it. It is only a 2 on 3 now. And yeah. They might just go for the save here. UDP get it instead. Yet another tight round. Even with the buy or lack thereof that ITV had. It's brilliant as uh, this can be on the openings. Of course, you've got, I think you've got to put it on him there. In, in that round where he's the only one in a great, on a great weapon or his preferred weapon. And you can't realize what could have been the round winner if he just locked up that B site from short range, sure. But that's the range we kind of know ISK for. Farm out cold. Prince of Reach 7 5 up here. Will want at least another round or two from these last couple rounds to be played. Um, yeah, I mean, this one doesn't seem too likely though, does it? The Deagle one is a 5 7 on double with these saved weapons as well. The Deagles haven't really shown up. You know, high DB maybe is an area of improvement. Typically, these types of teams that are so skilled across the board are really good at those deagle rounds, but not really the case for this ITB team, especially today. They've not really won a lot of those fights. They do stack the right side here, though. Tadpa already with one over to the middle. Meanwhile, in apartments, it does get stacked, but then they come out. And they all lose their fights, really. After that initial kill. The early warning sign. The early alarm bells here for UDP. Not really any significant ones. In the end, with Odie Adam left, he should probably save here. That AK could be worth quite a bit. Just keeping it around on the uh, CT side is it's always very valuable. We'll stick around. Wanted at least another exit frag with UDP's economy still not being great, but I think this is a good location actually. Interesting place to hide because UDP were hunting him desperately there on B. You can see on the mini map. here again an important one for our tv to maybe end this streak off and it's half off rather on a good note maybe even with a streak good spam there dobbo doing some early damage they push through that's a mistake you don't make twice against adam 
as he gets the two kills to open up the round. Just need to see it out now as UDP look for A instead. Jakarta up in apartments at the moment. The rest seemingly going to head out from short isk in the smoke gas of now. Todd pulling the slight and cipher in pit. That should be good enough to see them win off this round. Isk. Oh, he doesn't realize he's had a free kill there. But it gets even better as he waited around instead. He gets the first kill. Even while it traded. The round seems to have just died down now. Chicardo. Surely not gonna get much more than a frag there. If he's already gone. Just so low on health. And actually getting spammed out. Can't blame Chicard out by the way, for that round, of course, but yet again, it's that suffocating defense from ITB. Another gun around here. Ooh, it's missing the shot. Jakarta punishing. No trade yet. UDP and me instantly just look for bait. The chaotic nature has befuddled the defense. As Tadpole's left all alone. Having turned a 1 on 5 into a 1 on 4 already. Surely not much more than that. Uh, it's just not the way to end it for ITB. That is the way to end it for UDP. I mean, that was, that feels like the uh, T round they've been looking to play all half, just haven't really gotten it going. Where, again, it's that chaotic nature trying to strike in different parts of the map at all times. Problem for them in not getting that before was obviously the fact that, you know, those openings didn't really come. Like when they tried to do a, uh, an opening on one site, maybe quickly go for something on the other. They just lost most of those fights. And so, the final round not being one you saw too often. UDP at least getting to seven rounds, though. After into their breach, have a, uh, I'd say, somewhat disappointing CT side. I mean, it looked so strong there for a couple of rounds that you would have hoped for, I think, one or two more. If you're them, just to to really secure that advantage with 8-7. You're going to have to get off to a good start here. In the second half, of course, again. The CT side being the stronger end for them. Maybe they can close it out anyway. Here on the pistol ramp. Set up with Adam, buying up the uh, two flashes and a smoke. He hides... And waits further behind the rest of them. With how most of them are placed in, in Banana, that feels like the very likely destination, just that B, B area. Three players on it right now. If Dobbo doesn't create a distraction, it might be hard to get into that site. Dobbo will check around in, in apartments. I'm not throwing him a flash or anything. Just going to Smoke in on B anyway. Stobo will look for those uh, rotation frags. We do need to get the site first. UDP not moving a muscle. Harder does eventually peak though. As I said it. Getting tagged down and getting pushed away from the site. Imagine it's already been spotted there over by new box as well though. As into reach get into the site. They get a trade for it. Star players. He shows up though and then Harder combines to leave only Adam. Not even Dobbo could find a frag there. When that was the plan B, basically, to have Dobbo, I think, get a kill for free on the and then rotate over the last, the last there was on B. Not the case. So even he got taken down. Chicardo is still on A. Can he get there in time to get the bomb plant is the question here, Adam. Obviously, he doesn't know where Chicardo is. Oh, but I think he's seen him there. The other way that is... As UDP tie things up. No bomb plant either, so not a fantastic buy here coming out from ITB. They start to buy up. Yep, yeah, just the pistols and arm. 
nothing really to write home about. Side TP. Yet again, just play a pretty passive setup. Boost in the off. Actually getting into the banana though with no contest from UDP. Side of you can see utility. And the flash through. No action from it. So these two MP9s on B are just gonna stick back quite a bit. The problem with them both being in CT for now, though, is that if they just get smoked off, as long as ITV would peak that boost angle, if they can just smoke off CT and flash away, then uh, they almost have the sight for free. Oh, you're just doing the jiggle peaks right now. Should have already seen the leg. Now he sees it all. Oh, a great flash comes through. They need to check for it. the boosted angle, and they do. That's a free opening, and that's the sight as I was talking about. With harder... Leaving his post, he's in church now. Star Pleasure is on the way in there as well. Into the breach, have such great control. It's going to be hard for UTV, UDP to get anywhere, especially if they look for church here as Tadpole smokes it off. Harder getting desperate. UDP changing up the system instead, going through CT now as Hadam holds it off. They're dug deep here in church as they do come out. Chicardo gets one. But it's quickly traded. The pistols get a few more frags, and Cypher has let it rip to see into the breach of a knife round. And there's a UDP stuck far behind, no longer tied. Let ITB get that lead back. What a round that is. It's just like I was talking about during it as well when they were setting up. That setup looked so dangerous with how explosive this teak side can be sometimes when it's at its best at its best massive credit goes to cypher on that tech nine for the awareness first of all over towards uh, the boost angle and then obviously getting two absolutely vital kills in that post plant as well harder crept up here should have been spotted already but gets the first kill anyway not even traded until then. At least it is traded eventually. Four and four at least. There's still a bit of time to work with. See ITB look for A more so now. Star Pleasures. Right away on short with Chakard out. Up in apartments. Two players coming in from that area. And then two look to go through middle. Chakard out. Timing just so off there. To leave the one player on A. Imagine will come in, but he's so low already. Star Pleasures at least get one. And it's traded him. Well, surely he can't get too much more. Yeah. Takes him out. Might just be the round as well. Shadow one. No armor. No kit. Not any great weapon here as well with the Deagle and scout combination can only do so much he will have a pick and he'll go down as itb make it 10. that was a forced buy round as well by the way from udp if you didn't already know this so this should be 11. and it, you know <laughs> the game's gonna run away quickly from the romanians if they don't they don't win that next gun round, it feels like. Not a lot of chances left all of a sudden. With how into the reach one back that second round of this half. In such a great manner. The back tends to go in first here again. It's just the unarmored pistol cipher making it rain. As he makes absolute bank there initially. Adam finishing off the round as well. As into the reach make it 11. In such simple fashion. That is UDP. At least getting back to a rifle round. No op in sight. For Shadow. Might be a concern. Into the breach. Just needing this round to really pull away now. 
maybe not win the game outright, but only have quite a good position for just that. Oh, Tadpole. That's at least the opening there, although it is traded. I think they know now that it's a lot of players there over towards A. They're just going to push in B as a result harder. All alone, he's already flashed off the angle. The spam through the smoke and CT will not work out for any much more than just bits of damage. And the site therefore given up by Into the Breach. It's great information gained there by Tadpole in making the decision so instinctively. The UK side. Oh, already ticked a little bit. Is holding off. Meanwhile, in Banana for the one kill. Then Harder comes in. Another trade comes through. Hard double steps up. Just the one player left. But it is the one on one. Stubble will flash through twice. Will he see through the fact that he doesn't have a kit here? Star players. He's just going to peek in and gets the frag. And keeps the game in contention. He had 15 seconds there, ladies. He got the frag. A decisive decision. And that works out in the best of ways here for him and for his team. Even with Into the Breach having plenty of money left, EDP got that much closer. So sticking around here for for a little bit longer on Inferno. Both teams, of course, still in the hunt here for playoffs with uh, Into Reach not far from confirming their status. Now looking for, for quite a high seed, you'd say. In main playoffs. Not quite the case for UDP. Or it's the 7-4. Compared to ITB's 8 and 3. Prior to this game. But, you know. With, with a couple wins here at the uh, end of the season. They should also be able to, to get into those, those playoffs, I think. And then we get the opening here. Shadow peeking out as a result. I think they've already spotted him. Adam has realized that he's moved over to Phantom. That got the rotation on the way as well. Into the breach, decide to pull out. Start looking for that A site. Not doing it super quickly. There should still be three players here to watch out for. Or two and a half, you could say, with Dimagin's position. Still somewhere in CT. Tadpole to peak. Just that angle. Gets the frag from it. Just the two players left now on the A site with Jakarta hiding away in pit. He peeks up. Gets a couple taps in as he gets one kill. It's traded and then Isk is left all alone. He has the information on the site. Player just needs to peek him. He gets it down to just the one on one. It's his old counterpart now on the M4. As Isk spots the leg as Isk gets him down to just 15 health. Mollies him down away. Has made it so tough to get into that site. And rotating up now. I think he's realized he has the tag on him. But the bomb not quite planted for the zaps angle. But it is unexpected nonetheless. He just peeks out and this gets it. The one on two. Maestro that is his. Continues just doing that. The man is up to double digits in one on two. Clutches this season in ESEA. That's like one a game. That is a super important round, of course, as well for Into the Breach. Who now find themselves against just the pistols, not even any armor here. Although Shadow still will find one quickly traded there. They get in towards that base site. There's only one player there for now, so it'd be a pretty safe bet, I'd say. It's only a USP as well, but look at him go. Look how I've doubted him there. As the USP gets the first kill with the one headshot, he peeks out for more. As the rotations start to come through. Towards that base site, but they're all still stuck in CT, and even if they spam through the smoke, it's not like they're going to do that much damage. Simple reach. Are going to head in now. Smoke's landing. Molotov forcing out harder as well. He's so tagged up. He's just going to wait it out for no reason. Jakarta has been boosted up here. The final chance of it. Not, not going to result in much. 
into reach have been really good at clearing out that boost angle specifically. And I've been, I think, really cautious in all angles. I don't think they've gotten found out by one and done a lot on this piece side. And it's looking quite strong. Star Pleasures. Star Pleasures, rather. Has got Isks up. And will be saving that. Which is not ideal. For Inter Breach. Um, yeah, I don't think they know that he has the AWP though. Despite or not being super aggressive in hunting down. Probably should have. Because getting that onto Shadow is a massive boost for them. They wouldn't have been able to really afford that otherwise. And sets up what could be a very good buy here for, for UDP. No real complaints outside of some lacking utility. Not that much. So it's a chance for Into the Reach to. Uh, Really close out this game. Next to putting the W in the uh, in the call of shadow. Oh, he's gone found out there. Yet again, it's Isk against the op counterpart to win out in the duel. The counter reaction for the UDP is the mass rotate over towards A. They're stacking it with four players. This is the gamble of the game so far. Harder's kept in a somewhat resigned position now, but even with him rotating back more and more towards B, it's a massive gamble that Inter Reach are going to continue on towards A. And they kind of do. At least making their presence known. Harder actually coming back as well. Cypher is going to have to play quite the role here. If he doesn't notice that it's a free site, they're walking into the biggest trap here that they've known so far. They still get the opening frag. And have made it five on three. They push out in towards Arch now. Harder still in CT. Time on 35 seconds. They wrap around here. Not really checking for the graveyard position. Trade on the site and then graveyard getting found out. It is just harder left than the two on one. Cypher holding down the angle for now. He spotted him out again. There's plenty of time for that plant to go through, but he just holds the angle and Cypher closes out the round. And that might be the game closed out with it. The 14-9 scoreline. Into the breach have taken control in the second half. UDP having only picked up two rounds and the eight played so far. Got half by coming. See if they can deny match points. Into the reach, just make a run for it anyway. Adam with the double spray down. Only used half of his magazine there in the AK. Just a very controlled spray transfer. With controlled, seemingly being a uh, collective word to describe all that Into the Breach do in this round. No stress, no need to fear anything from the CT side. Instead, they just get this open site because of that earlier spray down. And well, aren't going to struggle to close out this round if you put it that way. And the question is if Shadow can get out of the weapon. Answer no. Our Flagers doesn't even want to go for one, he's going to save the scout. Which is an interesting decision. Kind of confirms that the buy won't be fantastic in the next round. Where they're facing a match point. It's not like earlier when he had the AWP save. And it helped them massively. It kind of almost diminishes the uh, buy that they're going to have to win. Yeah, they might even drop that off the map. Why not? Yeah, there it is. Oh, I'm gonna play with it. They have the money for an op here as well, by the way. I didn't even realize the Imagine's economy. As he drops it over, yeah. Felt like he felt like he was gonna stick 
stick to it there for a moment. Not the case. That's until Reach looks to close it out. Here on match point. Six of those in total as Isk never ceases to win out against Shadow. They've come up against one another quite a few times now with the ops in, in the hands of, e of both of them. And it feels like Isk has not lost a single one of those battles. Is it into the Reach, get into Arch, they wrap around. Molotov through Star Pleasures only being a mild hindrance. In fact, there is only Star Pleasures left. They already had known his position. And they closed out the game. A lovely, lovely T side from Into the Breach. After a decent CT side one in the first half season. Just comfortably take out the Romanians here. They are now 9 and 3 in ESCA main. And looking better. Each game they play, 16th, that puts them in. I guess you could also say they're tied 12th with a couple of very good teams. And uh, almost certainly being in the playoffs now, the question is what seed they can get to. We'll find out tomorrow, actually. Well, maybe not exactly what seed they'll be, but certainly what record they'll be. Because we've got two games coming at you. The two final games of the season. With XN being the first opponent, currently 8 and 1 the finish side. Looking very strong indeed. The Incas, the second one from, uh, I think, mainly Ukraine, if I'm not mistaken. We're currently 9 and 4. So, two interesting battles there tomorrow. Two interesting challenges there tomorrow as Inter Reach look to continue this win streak they're on now, heading into the main playoffs. We'll see you back tomorrow then for those games. I am very excited. Hope you are too to tune back in tomorrow. But until then, take care. Have a good night. See ya. Bye. I know we ain't talked in a minute, but what is time? Living in the thoughts and the visions, but between the lines, yeah. I can't even talk with the visions that.